Hey everyone, this is a quick look at how to connect the Evoque HDI Mini TV to the Motorola Atrix lap dock. Uh, that's an old Motorola Atrix phone and that is the lap dock. You can tell it's already connected to the media box which is the Evoque HDI Mini TV running Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.04. Um, the mouse is already working. I'm using an external mouse connected to the lap dock. You can use the trackpad if you like. Um, and let's go see how the keyboard works. So I'm just going to launch a browser. Um, start typing away. You can see that when I clicked on the text box, the on-screen keyboard came up. You know, you can minimize that using the down button or you can always, um, you know, leave it as is and then start typing away and uh, it just works so um, I don't use the remote that came with it uh, when I'm connected so I know I'm just leaving the remote on the remote uh, dongle um, the power adapter I'll show you um, uh, the HDI TV is actually powered by the laptop itself uh, the laptop as you know has a battery built into it um, so that is a keyboard test can have some fun with the Angry Birds. Oh, let's see how the mouse works with the game. Those are those Angry Birds. There you go. Now that is uh, the mouse. Now let's look at the connections. Okay, so that is it. So just two wires, two cables going from um, the micro USB to the micro USB and then back to the USB. So, so if you want to know the details, that's a um, micro USB male to female extension going to a male to female micro USB, and then that's a micro, that's a regular USB male to female into the HDI box, and that one is the micro HDMI male to female goes all the way back, and that is a male to female micro HDMI, and then. Uh, male to female regular HDMI. So th those these two connectors uh, convert micro to regular USB and HDMI respectively. Now the power um, for the HDI box comes from the lap dock itself. So that's why I'm not using this power cord. Um, this is a male to male uh, coupler. So that is a female jack in there. There's an additional extra female jack as well as um, a micro SD card slot. You can see it's it's fully powered. The lights are all flashing. I'm just going to close the lid. The moment you close the lid, power goes out, and then it comes back again. Uh, that's that's typical of the laptop. You know, uh, the only way you could have power continuously is is by using this cable. I hope this video helps everyone who's looking to connect a uh, work HDI uh, Mini TV to a laptop. Uh, good luck with it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. Thank you. Bye.